Hey folks, let's talk Deadpool. Deadpool is by far one of my favorite characters. Um, he's just the perfect uh, combination of action, adventure, sarcasm, and the fourth wall break. It just makes him a fan fascinating character to explore through my camera. So if you look at my portfolio, you'll see image after image after image after image featuring Deadpool. And I don't see that ending anytime soon, especially now that the movie Deadpool and Wolverine has hit. And it's just reignited my love for this character once more. So I figure a good project will be just to recreate one of those scenes from that movie and just have some fun with it and come up with a wacky image. So the scene that really captured my imagination photography wise was when a Deadpool ended up in the void in front of that giant uh, 20th Century Fox logo when it's half buried under the ground. So I figured I'd create the scene around that backdrop. So I'm not really sure exactly what this image is gonna look like. As per normal, I'm gonna be half-assing this thing the entire way. But I do know that whatever image it's gonna be is going to contain that logo. So the first step is gonna be 3D printing off that logo, and then I'm gonna build the void around it to act as the base of my photo. So let's jump into it. So there you go, one void. It's a bit rough in parts, but I think it turned out okay. This is designed strictly to be put in front of my camera. Anything that's a bit janky, I got Photoshop for that. I mean, there's a reason why I'm wearing this shirt. I fix it in Photoshop. That's the beauty of toy photography. Photoshop is your friend. One thing I did was a new technique is that to make the dirt, I took a bunch of paint and some Mod Podge and a whole bunch of sand and I mix it all together to make kind of a grout. And I use that to, as the sand for this diorama. So I got the color right and then I got all these little imperfections in the dirt. Uh, so I think that actually turned out really well. I'm gonna be using that technique in future uh, diorama builds. So the question now becomes, how do I go about photographing this? This is a fairly small background in the grand scheme of things. Um, if this was movie scaled on the Deadpool, it would probably be like a half inch to an inch high, which isn't very high, and I don't have one that size. And if I did, it wouldn't look very good in camera because there wouldn't be enough detail. The question is, how do I go about making a suitable photo out of this? And the answer is to do it in two parts. The first part is to take a shot of the background, uh, lit the way I want it lit, at the angles I want it angled. And then in a second shot, take a photo of the action figure I'm gonna use, which is this figure here, uh, which is Deadpool from the second movie. Uh, this is a Hot Toys figure. Very accurate and has lots of detail, so he's gonna be perfect for this shot. And then I'll pose him the way I want him, light him up the exact same way I lit the background. And then in Photoshop, I will combine the two together and then we'll have some photo magic. So that's the plan. 
Uh, so then all that's left is to execute the plan. So I'm going to get going on that. So I'm going to take this base over to where my camera is and start shooting. Maximum effort. All right, so I have a bunch of different backgrounds in camera. I took it from a bunch of different angles, bunch of different lights. So I have a lot of options available to me. The next step is to figure out what Deadpool is going to do in this shot. So I'm going to head over back to my other desk, play around with the figure, put him in a bunch of different poses, see what strikes my fancy. And when I come up with a pose that works for me, I'll come back here and photograph it. And then it's off to Photoshop. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I do in Photoshop is pick from all the background shots that I took and add in a nice guy, zoom it in, and then blur it out so it looks like it's in the background. Then I switch over to Deadpool. So in Deadpool, the first thing I do is remove him from the background and I brighten his eyes, use Puppet Warp to adjust his pose slightly, and then toss him onto the background. In the movie, the Deadpool suit is brighter than in the other movie, so I add some saturation. Then I throw in some vignetting, add in some gun smoke, turn on the lights, add a bit of texture, and there's the final image. So that's it from me. Thank you for following along. If you like what I do here, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.